Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name's Angela and I am um, showing you today how to make the make the eco makeup wipes. Um, so what I've um, used is some 100% um, cotton fabric which I got from Danau and this lovely peach with the flowers and I've used a towel that I got from um, Asda um, just a plain beige towel and this one that you can see me using now is one that I made about 10 years ago um, so it's got little strawberries on it um, and I've used that as a measurement um, so I think I measured four and a half by four and a half inches um, and I've just made um, a pile of these um, just because I enjoy sewing and um, I've actually put these on my Etsy shop um, to, to sell these um, so I have the longest ruler in the world as you can see uh, where I've measured four and a half inches across this um, piece of fabric um, just to make these um, wash cloths or makeup remover cloths um, I use mine and I put maybe a little tiny bit of um, sensitive soap on them um, and wash my face every evening with them um, and yeah, I think they're um, really helpful, useful, good for your skin. Um, and I've tried to show you the fabric um, there from Danelm. Um So I like to fold it when I cut a strip. I like to fold it and make sure that I haven't um, gone off um, the, the wrong way with the scissors. Um, so to make sure it's, it's um, level. So then I cut out each square. I've already cut the towel in pieces. So now I'm cutting just the fabric um, and um, so I cut a few of those out. I haven't even got my best scissors there. All my best um, scissors are in my uh, workshop um, box. Um, so the materials and the tools that I have um, in my um, studio at home are not the best. Um, but I still manage. Uh, so I cut all the um, cotton squares out and and I think at the end here I've even got a little piece I'll show you in a second a little piece there that I can use um, for um, my slow stitching um, so I've gone to the sewing machine and I've sewn um, the uh, wrong sides together leaving a small about an inch gap um, and of the toweling and the cotton um, so I've left a little inch gap so I can turn these inside out. So you can see there I'm cutting the corners off and I'm cutting the excess fabric. And then um, you, I've speeded the video up because you don't need to watch 10 minutes of me um, sewing and turning these inside out. Um, so I use a pencil or a, I've, I actually got some chopsticks and use them as well to help get those corners a little bit um, flatter and, and, and yeah I actually use scissors there um, flatter um, so that it's, um, they, they sit nice and sharp on the corners so then what I do then is um, turn them all inside out trim them all off turn them inside out and then take them back to the sewing machine and sew up that um, little inch hole that I've used to um, turn it inside out um, and Sometimes they're a bit tricky. Sometimes I've got to make that hole a little bit bigger, um, depending on the thickness of the towel. Um, and you just pull them through. Um, and I think later on I did get a pencil to help me with poking because I've used scissors before and gone right through um, the fabric. So I don't recommend using scissors. There we go. There's a pencil. Um, I was starting to see that that wasn't going to work. It wasn't sustainable to use the scissors. But yeah, these are little sustainable, that's hard to say, sustainable um, washcloths. Um, you can add a little piece of ribbon to them so that you can hang them up to dry in the bathroom. Mine dry, um, so I, I clean my face at night with them um, and then they are dry by the morning, uh, just hanging in the bathroom. Um, so it's, I mean, you can add a label or you can add a ribbon or a little bit of string it's up to you um, but yeah they're four and a half by four and a half inches approximately 
um, because I've made these quite quickly um, and give them a good press because actually what is really nice with these when you do a uh, closing that hole up is if you do a, a very um, thin um, um, top stitch all the way around each of the cloth because it does flatten down that bulkiness um, on the egg um, and you'll see at the end the finished um, washcloth and how smart they look. Um, so I've used a whole bath towel up um, from, that I got from Asda, which is a local supermarket, um, and, and I've made um, a bath um, towel equivalent of these eco washcloth and put them in my Etsy store. Um, and, and also they are sort of um, nice little gifts to give. So if you're looking for birthdays or Christmases, you could do like a little wash bag with these wipes in there with some um, face uh, wash or other um, items that you might use in the bathroom. But ideal, um, you know, part of a gift. Um, and they last for years. I've had that one, that um, strawberry one for years and years. Um, and, you know, it's as if you sort of wash your face every day. So um, it's not um, that there's not uh, a lot of wear, it, you know, you're not um, being used, um, you know, for anything else that doesn't wash your face. So, um, definitely worth it. Um, and they're sustainable, um, so good for the environment. Um, and sometimes you drop them. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed. So, I did some in this peach. I did some in um, like a blue um, flower um, fabric. I've got about another three or four different types of fabric that I'd like to do some more in. Um, what really I should use it for scraps, you know, it's a, an ideal scrap buster. Um, but I just saw that peach fabric and I thought, oh, definitely want some in that. Um, but in the future, I'm going to try and just do scraps for them. Um, and um, and also another um, thing that I like to do as well is give them away, give them away as gifts or just tell people that I need them to test them out for me. Um, and yeah, they, they, I'm able to give them out as gifts because they're so quick and cheap to make and I get to use up the scraps. And it's very, I think doing something like this is very mindful because you don't have to, once you've done a few, you don't have to concentrate that much um, and you know, you can focus on just doing your sewing, forget about everything else. And what I actually like to do is listen to my audio books while I'm um, sewing. Um, and that's what I've been doing um, the past few weeks is just listening to my audio books while I'm sewing. Um, and that helps me to just forget about everything else and any, everybody else and just uh, concentrate on my sewing. So that's the, the starting one that I did. That's the one I made years ago. And now these are the little ones that I've been making today and um, so I just um, check them all now for size a little bit of quality control here check them for size and put them into little piles um, and then think about the label that I'm going to add to it um, and if you have a look at that fabric underneath them there I might make some with that white uh, and peach fabric they'd be nice coordinated or just to have another um, Another, another selection of them. So I'm counting them now to see how I'm going to um, package them up. Yeah, three, three lots of three, so there's nine there. Um, three lots of three and get the, the labels um, and add them to them. And uh, yeah, and then put them in the Etsy shop. So I hope you enjoyed that. Ever so easy to make. Great scrap buster. Um, subscribe to my channels if you can. And don't forget to press the little... Um, bell icon so you get all the um, videos coming through. Thank you very much.